So before we get into this video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and turn on post notifications so you're notified every time we drop. Also, since they want us to believe their content's real, we're going to react to their content like it's real. Mm -mm. Oh my god. This chick with this black on looking kind of fly. Let me see if I can cop it real quick, see what she on. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, beautiful. How you doing, sweetie? Uh-uh. All I said was hi. What's your name? I don't want to I'm married. Oh, you married? I'm sorry to bother you. Have a nice day. She said, she said, uh-uh, I'm married. Here's the funny thing about all this, man. You walking up to a chick like that saying, hey, beautiful. So said, bro, you don't even got to, you don't have to say that to those type of girls. You ain't got to walk up to somebody like that and say, hey, beautiful, this, that, that. You ain't got to do none of that, bro, at all. All you literally got to do is fly on a chain, fly on a watch, fly on a car. That's it. And they're going to come. Why? Because... They street walking, bro. They, she, she basically walking up and down the streets and fishnets and thongs. And that's, out of everybody, that's who he want to go holler at? Out of everybody he can possibly say anything to, he want to go talk to the girl who's walking down the street in fishnets and thongs. See through see through fishnets with, with, with a thong on. That's who he want to holler at, y'all. Everybody married. Everybody married. Talking to me? Yeah. What's up, married woman? It's your car. Yeah, it's my car. It's, car. it's one of my cars. Why? Oh, I like your car. Oh, thanks. Your husband? Do he know that, know that, that, that you like Lambos? I don't have a husband. I was just saying that. That's what? just sometimes I don't want to talk. Why would you say something like that? Because you don't. I just you know sometimes I don't want to talk. I just. Some people miss their opportunities when they do that. Yeah, I know. But where were you headed? I was actually going to mind my own business. I mean, I feel so. I thought you wanted to hang out. It, I feel like I was just like, you were so rude. You was like, ugh, uh-uh. Like, Come on, let's hang out. Of course, she wasn't. You can't say she is so rude because at the end of the day, bro, you older and she's young, guaranteed, sure, like 22, 23, 24, could be 21, and you like 50 something. So, with that being said, you can't realistically believe that somebody's actually going to stop and give you time just for you. We, we Everybody already knows you're ugly as hell. You know you're ugly as hell. The only thing this, you have going for you is you got some money. See what I'm saying? You got some money, may have some property, may have some cars, all that shit. Other, other than that, the physical attributes is not there, bro. So, it's not like you can be some 52-year-old nigga or 53-year-old nigga out here hollering at young chicks. And they like, oh, I know he older, but he still look good. They're not doing that. Homegirl in the last video said he like a thumb. That nigga like a thumb. So, um, yeah, um, another day of dudes walking down the street. Looking for wifey material and street walkers who wear fishnet and thongs. Like, <laughs> go in your car somewhere, do something. Wait, what kind of stuff is we gonna get in my car? We can gonna do? go to the movies, go to the mall. Are you a movie type girl or are you a mall type girl? Mall type girl. What's your name? Mall type girl. Gabby. Gabby, I'm Damien. Mm -hmm. nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, you, Gabby. Let me check you out. Give me a spin since she was so rude to me, man. Is that even real or is that fake? It's definitely real. Did you notice she said, well, we can go to the movies. We can go hang out. We can go to the mall. Basically, you know, we can go do something. He's like, oh, well, what type of, you like, you a movie or whatever type of girl. I think, I don't know if she said movie or mall, but basic stuff. Like, yeah, we can go hang out. When you meet somebody, when you meet a new chick, you may go to her crib. She may come to your crib. Y'all may go over here and hang out. Y'all may go over there and hang out. Y'all just don't sit outside of a car and hang out forever. You know what I'm saying? Or you just don't sit in the car and hang out forever. So what she's saying is not far-fetched. What she's saying is what we everybody does down there. Unless, you, unless it's just one of those interactions to where, okay, well, she just want to smash and you want to smash and... You ain't charging her nothing. She ain't charging you nothing. You just met her and y'all just want to smash each other. Y'all going to get it on like that. And that's just one of those situations. Other than that, bro, you, you take a girl out to the movies or she may take you out. Y'all may go get something to eat or she may pay for it. You may pay for it. That's normal stuff, bro. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. So so what was you headed to? Mm, with you. Oh, just like that, huh? Yeah. You ever, been inside of, you ever been inside of Lambo before? No, but you can take me inside of it. Oh, you want to jump in for a second? Yes. Come on, let me open the door for you. I got a few minutes on my hand. 
I got just a few minutes to see what you're talking about. Because I believe that you probably is low-key married. No, I'm not. Don't Why be, would you say Don't that? be getting me shot out here in these streets, man. Definitely not. I got gold digger. Got it, got it. Shorty ain't no gold digger. Another thing I thought was funny, if you watching Shorty, right, and how she's walking, walking around the, to the front of the car and to the, you know what I'm saying, to the passenger side door, she walking, she's walking like, man, dang, she, she walking like this, bro. Her body language says, man, damn, I, I'm about to get his old nigga son. Man, I know I know he's going to buy me whatever I want, but I got to give him some. Damn, man, I really want to get this nigga now, man. That's what her body posture is like. Like, you know, that's that's that body posture whenever they know they got to come out. They know they got to come out that come out some action, you know what I'm saying? And they really don't want to. That's what it's almost like the, they be holding a purse and be she's dragging their feet kind of, you know, dragging their feet, but walking or dragging their feet. That's, that's 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 the vibe that she getting, and she's not a gold digger, bro. Once again, he keeps saying, "Oh yeah, she's a gold." Shorty's not a gold digger, bro. You you, you way past your prime, fucking talking about age wise, and be trying to go with that just on some regular. See this nigga trying to holler at motherfuckers like everybody a damn junior in high school. No, nigga, you you holler people. They ain't number seven graders, nigga. And you a, and you and you damn near a senior in high school, and you trying to holler at motherfuckers. Yeah, that's what it looked like. But uh, he act like they and they both the same age, they both in the same grade. Everything's cool, nigga. No, nah, it's a different scenario. Everybody's grown up. A lot of motherfuckers have bills and need things and stuff. So a lot of shit different, man. Oh, you good and comfortable over there? Yeah. Thank you. It better be. I paid a lot of money for it. It better be all that. I was just saying, it's fancy in here. So what were you doing today? Uh, I actually just got done doing some work. I had to just, uh, sign a business deal. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been, it took me like four hours to get this business deal pushed through. So I finally finished it. So you want to go to the mall now? <laughs> go <to> <laughs> What's wrong? Did you say go to the mall? Like Go as to a the mall. Yes, we can go to the mall now. Right, and that's all anybody's hollering at you about, bro. That's it. Nobody hollering at you. Hey, bro. I'm, hey, I just want to come and hang out with you, man. Just I don't want to hang out and chill out, and I don't want to. I don't want anything. I just want to be around you. Nobody's doing that, nigga. Motherfuckers come and hang with you, nigga, because they trying to get something, bro. It is what it is. It's not on gold digging anything. It is what it is. You want to flaunt your wealth, okay? Well, here comes people. You know, people. People are attracted to wealth, so the people you get that are coming. That are attracted to your wealth, bro. You can't get mad. If you want to flaunt your wealth for those type people. Like, here's the thing. You want to, motherfuckers want to sit around and buy the type of cars that everybody like. They want to dress a certain way. They want to dress like they still in the streets and they chasing hood rats and ratchets. They don't want to dress professional like they trying to get a professional businesswoman who's actually a professional businesswoman, not somebody who's like, oh, yeah, I have a bunch of businesses, but I also do Instagram modeling on the side, and I also do special appearances and stuff on the side also. Not those. I'm talking about legit business people, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> These niggas want to keep going. These niggas want to keep hollering at the chicks that got their ass out walking down the street, calling them gold diggers and shit. <laughs> niggas weird, man. <laughs> How old are you, Gabby? I'm 22. So, so a few things I want to know. Okay? I'm 22. Well, I'm only 30 years older than you. I mean, is that a problem? No, of course not. You know what I'm saying I like women older. You like women. I like my men older. You do. I mean, women are cool too, but I like my men older. Okay, what's the oldest man in your with? Um, you. <laughs> okay, Pre appreciate your honesty. And even though, even though Shorty's eye and she got her cheeks out. Shorty looked dirty though. It looked like Shorty like real dirty. Like she like like she just let any nigga hit that got any you know what I'm saying? One of them type of motherfuckers let any nigga hit that got any type of money or any type of anything. You know, nigga ain't even gotta have a Lambo to hit that. You know what I'm saying? You have a nice little Lexus, you can have a nice little infinity or something like that, and she gonna let you hit that shit, man. Um another thing is he can't let's he anything she anything she says related to spending money and having fun you can't complain about that i mean it is what it is of course shorty gonna want something of course shorty won't want you to spend some money to have some fun you can't complain about that bro this is who you pick right? like come on man this is who you chose man so that's what come with it <laughs> so where you from gabby right so, <laughs> yeah, so where you from? i'm from out here Houston. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know why I didn't know that. What do you mean you don't know why you didn't know that? Because it seemed like most Houston women, not all, but most Houston women that I meet, I almost can tell that they're from Houston just by the first few seconds. Like when I walked up to you, you was like, uh uh. <laughs> like, all I said was hi. Like, goodness, goodness. I know. I just didn't know. I just, I'm like that with everyone. Okay. Okay, Lisa. I appreciate your honesty. Gabby. What is it? Gabby, what Gabby, I call you? Lisa. <laughs> My bad. That's our business partner. I've been on the phone with her all day trying to get this building. It's so, okay. So, so, so what type of stuff, like, what type of stuff do you do, like, on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, I oh. go to the mall. Mm hmm You go to the go mall. Go to eat. You go, like. Go to the mall again. That's every day? <laughs> and instead of getting down to the business, he said, up, he asked him, well, what do you, what do you like to do on a day-to-day -day basis? Like, nigga, no. Get down to the business, bro. Get down to why you why you why you haul the short in the first place. What you want? You know what I'm saying? What she gonna do? Get down to the business, bro. Don't sit around and beat around the bush and be asking me these damn questions. Like like like, bro, why? It's it's not your girl. She's not gonna be your girl. Even if she is your girl, you're not gonna be the only person that's getting the box if she is your girl because you're old, nigga, and you're gonna have to understand that. No, nigga, I'm not finna just. Sit here and just give you all this. I'm giving other niggas this shit also. That's that's the mentality they saying. Cause you oh nigga, fuck you mean. You know it is what it is. So, um, want to hear all that? Want to hear all that relationship talk, bro? This is not. This is not. Hey, this is not. This is not. Let, hey, let's see if she likes me for me. That's. This is not that, bro. She has her ass hanging out walking down the street. She's gonna like you for what you have, period. And that's not gold digging. We've already explained what fucking gold digging is. Gold digging is setting yourself up for the long haul. Yes, she's 22. Yes, this nigga's 52. Gold digging is if she's fucking with this nigga for an extended period of time and he starts putting shit in her name. He starts uh, making sure that if anything goes, she get this car, she get this house, she get this certain amount of money. Nigga, that's, that's gold digging, bro. With this shit, what they doing right now, um, Having girls half naked walk down the street to try to holler at a girl to get in this and go into their car and the girl coming back. Like, no, that's not gold digging, bro. Because a girl that's walking down the street half naked, they're looking to get paid off of something. They're not just walking down the street half naked just for no reason. You know what I'm saying? That's like, that's like for example, as a dude, that's like you going by in a Speedo, right? It's like you going to my Speedo, buying some flip-flops, and you're just walking down the streets in the Speedo on some flip-flops. You're walking down the street in the Speedo on some flip-flops so people will look, right? So you can grab people's attention. That's the whole point. You're not just finna wake up, oh, man, it's hot outside, putting a Speedo on some flip-flops, and I'm walking three miles all around, all around. You're not doing that. You're doing that for to track people. You're doing that to ha turn heads so people can look at you. Because that's, that's basically what we do, but most people, most people do anyway. Especially us. We do shit over here in America just for people to look at us and say we cool. Oh, yeah, he got all the girls. Oh, he got all the money. We look for people to praise us over here. That's it. So I don't want to hear all of that, bro. Shorty walking down the street with her ass out. You know what she on. We already know what she on. It don't matter if she say, yeah, buy me this, buy me, buy me that, buy me this. I want all that. It don't matter, bro. She walking down the street with her ass out. That's what the bitch supposed to do. Yep. You must got a lot of bread. Mm-hmm. But I could use some more. Mm, why your leg rocking like that? Is you okay over there? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just, you know. That thing rocking out of control. What? Because I've never been in a car like this. It's my nerves. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So so you say that you go to the mall every day and you mm -hmm. want to spend some house money. So, like, let me ask you this. If 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 me and you was to move forward and go out on a date or something, mm -hmm. like what type of money would you expect me to spend? Like a lot. <laughs> like like be specific. Like what's a lot? Like thirty, forty, fifty bucks every time we go out. I mean, it just depends on what we're doing, but a lot. It's not a limit. Mm, no limit at all. Are no. You, okay. Okay. Okay, so what made you come you back? You don't got no limit. You got this nice car, this that's, nice watch, that's, and chain, yeah, and yeah, bust get a little down, shirt. Like, oh yeah, oh I like that. What about on again, girl? It's been a while. I was like, oh. First off, bro, as a boss, first off, you don't sit up there and ask them, oh, okay, well, what type of, what, 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 how much do I need to spend if we, if say we, we continue talking and we go out like, what are you talking about, bro? This is not even that. This is not even the propose you propose. Well, if we, if we keep talking and buys a buys that. No, bro, it's to the point. 
But all right, well, shit, what you trying to do? We, try, we go grab some meat. We grab some meat. You already know what's up. You already know what I'm trying to do. That's all this is. This ain't nothing more. Now, if you want to sit up there and and, 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 and take care of it, and, and just because she letting you get some and all that shit, so you don't take care of it, look out for it, give her a nice little apartment. Uh, nigga, that's on you. But all this is is you hanging out with somebody and you getting some action, bro. It is what it is. It's, it's, not, it's, it's nothing else. I got rubbed by a young, beautiful woman. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm like in this Abby, Gabby. So, uh, so, so you came back to the car again for what? Because, mm -hmm. like, because I wanted to hang out. I love your car, and I just thought we could go do something. I didn't know what you wanted, but you keep talking about the car. But what about me? What do you? Mean? The car. This is just a car. You too. You're very handsome, and mm, yeah. I, I mean, I do appreciate that. But let me ask you this though, April. Gabby. Gabby, I'm sorry. <laughs> when you was walking down the street and I try to, talk, you know, just be polite and speak to you, if I wouldn't have walked to this particular car, would you even have came back and even gave me the time of day? No, of course. And the reason why with that particular question, the reason why they be like, well, hey, if he, if he says, well, if I had this car, this particular car, would you have came back and gave me the time? And they say yes. And the reason why they say stuff like that is because I feel like, and nigga, if you're going to ask a dumb question, I'm going to give you a dumb answer. Is what it is. You're going to sit up and ask me the obvious, stupidest, dumbest question. Well, if I didn't have this car, would you come back? Oh, yeah, sure, I would have did it. You know, of course, I'm going to say that type shit. Same thing that Shorty said. So, once again, bro, I don't know what he's trying to accomplish. Damien, appreciate you having to have naked girl in your video uh, to, to grab our attention. Appreciate that. But what you trying to do, this is not it. Like, you you going after the wrong type women to... On some gold digging shit, bro. You're always going after the, the women who barely have clothes on and always walking down the street. Oh, she's a gold digger. They're like, no, bro. Like, no. I mean, how do I know that, though? See, what do you mean? We'll never course. know that, though. We won't, but we're here now. Yeah, we're here. We so here. it's okay. So you want to go to the mall mm -hmm. and you want some money. And what do I get in return, though? Like, if they go to my house and watch Netflix and watch movies and kick it for a while, go to the park and stuff like that, hang out. I mean, you gonna take me around your peoples and show me off or whatever? Oh, wow. <laughs> Eventually. Wow. That's up. Eventually, Eventually, yes. Eventually, but, but you wanna spend the money we can immediately. can just go to the mall today and chill and, God. you know, too much. Mm, I got a confession to make. It. All right, so. Who, who who wants to meet your peoples? Like, I understand, okay, if your peoples got bread, if she got, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, how, how many times have you met a girl, a, bit, a random girl on the street, and they say, okay, if I do this, you're going to take me around your peoples and you're going to do me out? Like, no, you don't say shit like that. If she's like, well, she yeah, go buy me, I need some fingernail polish or something like that. And I look out, you may go buy some cheap fingernail polish and $40 worth or something. And then next thing you know, shorty gonna give you some action. She's gonna let you rub on something. She may rub on something, touch on something. Yeah, you're gonna keep it at that. You're not gonna be like, well, are you gonna take me around your friends? Because uh, how long till you take me around your friends? How, like, niggas is not doing that, bro. Like, what type of shit is this nigga pushing? So if y'all young, for real. Y'all younger cats, man, because y'all don't know no better, especially y'all little 12 year olds, 13, 14 year olds that ain't, that ain't been dating, ain't had no action and stuff. Do not believe none of that, though. No, he gonna fuck you over there. They fucking y'all mind up. Don't believe none of that shit. Go around. Who, who, who cares about going around a girl's family? Who cares? Don't nobody care about that. And why would you wanna go around somebody's family who's walking down the street like that? It don't make sense. She got her ass, she's hanging out, but yeah, you, he's so worried about I wanna. Go around your family. You gonna take how long till you take me around your friends? If I do this, like, nigga, I, won't, I would not want to. I would not want to pop up nowhere with Shorty unless it was only at her her home girl's house. Because chances are, if she's walking around like this and she and she's all out and open like this, chances are her home girls is the same way and her home girls is going. So yeah, only people I want to meet is your home girls. All your little homies. I want to meet your home girls. I don't want to meet your family, none of that. None of your cousins, none of that. I want to meet your homegirl. Why? Well, so I can pull one of them, too. Simple, man. What? The reason why I said Houston women, because it's like, y'all all the same, bro. You, like, you seem like you're a gold digger, bro. What do you mean a gold digger? I mean, look How at am you. I a gold digger? You, how? Even... You are a gold digger. I'm not no Go digger, oh, is that watch even real? Is your chain even real? Your shirt <laughs> wrinkled. 
Is this even your car? You ain't even turned the car on. It's hot in here. Yes, it's my car. No, yes, this is not your car. How do I get out of this car? Once again, Shorty's not a gold digger. And secondly, that's funny that she said that, bro. Is this even your car, bro? You haven't even turned your car on. It's hot, bro. We not even, we not even pulling off nowhere. We just sitting in your car. And I'm gonna tell y'all reason why. All right, so here's the reason why a lot of times they don't start them cars and move those cars is because most of the time, whenever they do these fake gold digger videos, what they do is they have, and it's easy to do, it's very easy to do, as long as you tell the girl, I got 300 some thousand subscribers, um, that's gonna go on YouTube, I'll pay you a little bit. You say that, right? What they do, they line up three, three, three or four, maybe five females. That's why, you ever notice, that's why, Whenever um, they do the videos, you may see you may see them in a video with the same gear on for like five videos, right? Because right after Shorty, right after Shorty gets out of the car and they, and 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 they cut it, then here they go starting again with another. One. Here come another one. They gonna start again with another one. Then she gets finished, they cut it, start again with another one. After she get done, start again with another one. That explains why this nigga Damien be doing all that fucking sweating a lot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all didn't pick up on it, and I didn't mention that. I was waiting for somebody to say it in the comment section. But I'm going to go and bust it up for y'all. So that explains why he be doing all that sweating, because he's in and out of the car, talking, this, that, that. And he's not starting the car, because, of course, he can't start the car every time for everybody. You know, he can't do that. He got to save his little gas, and that's why he doesn't move the car. Why? Because the camera's already in position, because it's on the tripod, standing across the street. So the camera's already in position, positioned to where it where it needs to be focused on the car and the car is already in position that explains why they can't move the car that explains why some that explains why sometimes you will see um you'll see the a person wear the same outfit in three videos then that last video um that they wore that same outfit in they actually pull off in a car and then the next time they start filming they got a whole new outfit on so like I said, yeah, man, y'all got y'all got peep how these niggas do this shit. That's why I be so funny. Like, Shorty's not a gold digger. Um, it is what it is. Gold digger can't even get out. How do I get out the car? Wow. How do I get out the car? Uh, here, let me help you out. I'm gonna send you let home. Let me to out the car. Yeah. Go home to your husband. Shut your bald headed. Hey, bald headed nothing. Your <laughs> is probably fake as. Shut up. And your feet smell like corn chips. That booty ain't even real. The uh, hell. My ball headed. I'm ball headed now, but I wasn't ball headed when you got in my car a minute ago. Like I said, I knew the instance, the way she acted, that she was from Houston, man. I'm not saying all Houston women like that, so y'all females don't get offended. But a lot of what I've seen so far, my is all. We don't be stealing. That's the end of the video, by the way. Thank God. End of the day, we don't be stealing like their phrases. We don't steal what they be saying. We don't, we don't do that. So, I was, uh, but Damien most definitely is stole what we be saying. The corn chip thing, you know, we used to say motherfuckers' feet smell like corn chips. Oh, uh, and your feet smell like corn chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, man, Shorty's not a gold digger. Nothing gold diggers about anything she said. You talking about, he talking about the women in Houston, bro. Look what you're picking up. Like you're in a, according to you, you're in a million dollar Lamborghini picking this up. That doesn't even require a million dollar Lamborghini, bro. That doesn't. She doesn't even require three hundred bucks. She probably requires a hundred dollars tops, and that's just you putting gas money in your car. You going to get some meat and maybe buying a blunt or a bottle, bro. That's all that requires. No way she a gold digger, man. But anyways, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think, man. We out to the next one.